So, um, last year I separated my palettes by large and small. This year I have not done that except in storage. Um, last year I had a total of 65 palettes and this year I have a total of 76. Yes, 76. But that's counting any eyeshadow set that has four or more eyeshadows in it. Okay, so this is the palettes that were in that giant palette holder. I do think I'm going to have to go over a little bit of this just for those of you who um, have not seen my inventory. Um, like I said, this is an inventory for 2017, comparing the numbers to 2016 where I did not do pictorial. Um, I just spoke. Uh, it was just all verbal, so um, I had 65 in 2016, and now I have gone up to 76. So I'm just going to go over these real quick. Uh, I'm not going to go into great detail. I have two Naked palettes. One is the standard Naked one, and the other one is Naked Smoky. I love both of these. I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. One of my other favorites, this set from Lorac was, uh, man, they seem like they're magnetic. They were in a box um, and I separated them so that I could put them in this palette holder. And I have three small sets from Smashbox. They have like, I think it's like nine shadows and a blush. Um, I have this Smashbox set and Lorac Mega Pro 2, two Ulta palettes, of course my Naked on the Run palette, I use that every time I go anywhere, the Smoked palette, and you'll see that I have several Urban Decays in the smaller basket, um, the Ofra where I've been putting my Makeup Geek um, eyeshadows and Ofra eyeshadows. Smashbox um, Double Exposure. It's Superhero Palette, by the way, one of my new favorites. The Bomb Jovi Palette. Pure Cosmetics um, Buff Collection. Four um, of the Coastal Scents revealed. Uh, one, two, three, and smoked. And there is one that I forgot, and that is one the one that's in my project palette. And here's the next palette that I mentioned that is my project pan this palette. Here's a Tarte set that I got, I believe it was last Christmas. It was before they started to get away from all different shades of brown. They went through a phase with that, and it was just brown, light brown, dark brown, warm brown, cool brown. It was like brown, brown, brown. But um, the quality of these shadows is really great. And so anyway, I do use them and they are in the rotation for makeup basket. I count it as one palette because it's actually s little separate ones that go into this little palette holder. Um, and they're magnetic and they go right in there. and. I don't really use that when I pick this as my um, palette for makeup basket. I'll just be using the entire thing, just putting my brush in and seeing what suits my fancy for that day. These are hard, can hard candy palettes. They're dupes for, I think they're dupes for the Too Faced palettes because they come like pretty much set up the same way. And I have all three of those. I think at the time only three came out when I got these. And I bought them at Walmart. Don't know if they're still available or not. And I have a basket full that I took out of my drawers. And so I'm just going to very quickly say what they are. I'm not going to like go deeply over everything. This is an e.l.f. palette. Back up a little bit. I have two Elizabeth Arden palettes. Actually more than that. A Lorac party palette. 
have two of the small Urban Decay palettes. I have the Energy Noir palette from Tarte. It does have a little bit of color in it. I have this little Too Faced palette. I have a couple more Elizabeth Arden palettes. And a couple more Elizabeth Arden palettes. And I have a couple of the Little Black Book and Little um, well, Little Black Book from e.l.f. I have another Little Black Book from e.l.f. I have the new Duce palette, which I just got in Allure Beauty Box last month. I have a Paula's Choice palette. Mind you, these are all the little palettes. I have a little Ulta palette. Oh, and another Elizabeth Arden palette. I have another Ulta palette. It's just one of the birthday palettes. Of course, what would life be without a Comfort Zone palette? I got another one of these little elf palettes. I have one that's like got nothing left in it. I don't even know where it is. As a matter of fact, I hope I'm not leaving a whole lot out. I have this M palette that has um, shadows and a lip, two lip colors in it. I have this Go palette by Coastal Scents um, and this is the Cairo edition. Another little black book from e.l.f. I have a BH Cosmetics palette. Uh, you know, nothing wants to focus. This is the Enhancing Eyes palette for green eyes. This is another little Ulta palette. This is a small Buxom palette that I built myself. I think I'm going to actually put that in my Yep, fits very nicely in there. Huh. I know I have four of these. I don't know why I could only find two. And I have this little e.l.f. palette. It's got four colors. Um, a, one of these is slightly greenish, and so kind of like that. And finally, the last little palette that I have here is a Marcel palette. I got this for buying X number of dollars worth of stuff. So this does not include any shadows that were three or less. So those will be in a separate category. So anyway, there it all is. Uh -huh. 76. And I'm sure there's one that I'm missing. Oh, and here are two small palettes that I forgot. They're actually in my 100 Colorful Empties. So they were separate from the rest of the collection. But I have the Urban Decay um, Spectrum, and I have this um, old Tarte palette that my daughter gave me. And yeah, as you can see, I totally hit pan on four of the um, 10 shades. So this one I will take out of the box to show you. All right, so this box is really, really beautiful. Um, it's got like this jeweled design and it has this cutout design on the sides. So you can use it as a jewelry box or whatever when you're done with the shadows, which for me will never happen. So here are the shadows. And they're quite beautiful. There are a couple here that I will never use. One of those is that bright pink one, which um, is too shimmery to use as a blush. So, but anyway, I will literally never use some of these. The inside of the case has this nice mirror and it's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous.
So, you ever wonder what crazy looks like? Well, this is it. These are pencils that I have purchased, I've gotten as gifts, and I've gotten in um, sets. So, <laughs> I have an insane amount of, of pencils. This comprises eyeshadow pencils, eyeliner pencils, um, eyebrow pencils, and lip pencil. So I'm going to separate everything out and then I'm going to go over each separate group um, as a group. These um, are in use it ups and so I don't want to mix them accidentally in with the others but I will include them in the count of products. And I have a lot of shadow sticks. Um, so uh, yeah, while we're at it, I'm probably going to declutter some of these at some point, but not today. <laughs> um, these are Milani um, shadow sticks. Can't see them. Um, these are Milani shadow sticks, and this one is Pixie. And I found that one smears a little bit, so I'm not real happy with that one. And this one came in a box. Um, it's Corey's, and it's a brown. Um, it's like a liner shadow thing. Like, it's got a point on it, but it really just says eyeshadow. So. so, those are eyeshadow sticks. Okay, so I have... Um, I did mark... Um, in my inventory book how many I had last year in 2016 I had seven and um, now in 2017 I have eight I think the chorus one is the only one that's new and now for the eyebrow category I'm wondering if I'm missing something <laughs> but I don't think so I know that I used up an entire eyebrow gel um, this year and um, used up an entire eyebrow pencil and gave one to my daughter so I should have been down a little bit more I had a total of five eyebrow pencils five eyebrow patterns and five eyebrow gels now this year I have eight eyebrow pencils one of them is not here um, it's still in my um, makeup drawer, I forgot it. It's the last of my um, Chella um, eyebrow pencil. But anyway, I have eight regular pencils. That's three more than last year. I have two sets of eyebrow powder. That is three less than last year because I have myself at five for last year. Um, I should say I had pencils were five in 2016. I have eight in 2017. The eyebrow powders, um, I actually have one more of this, so I should say I should have three of the eyebrow powders, um, and that's just not opened yet. And on the eyebrow gel, I had myself as having five. I know I used one up, so anyway, I am down to four. So I have four eyebrow gel that's one less than last year okay just to review the numbers again real quick um, I had five pencils and this year in 2017 I went up to eight pencils I had um, I have three eyebrow powders counting the one that's still in the drawer that's still sealed and not opened yet it's one of, it's one of these um, Ulta ones um, so that is, I still have an, one in reserve. Best thing. I love it. Absolutely love it. And um, I had five last year, so I'm down to three. And eyebrow gel, I had five last year, and this year I am down to four. Okay, the next category is the gel and liquid eyeliners. Let me just move these so that they can be right in front where the light is. Um, of course, I'm sitting here, so it's making everything slide. <laughs> okay. Um, now, this is numbers that <laughs> are after I decluttered. And so, 
yeah it's crazy absolutely crazy so I have three gel eyeliners one is not even out of the package yet this one is black and these are both like this blue green um, really nice I really like those um, so let me put those aside and so <laughs> I still have a metric ton of eyeliners. Um, so that is three. This is 15 liquid eyeliners. Some of these are better than others. I had two of these. They came in um, beauty boxes. I gave one away already. And I'm probably going to give away some of this before it goes bad because the liquids, they go pretty fast. So I had in 2016. I had a combination of 17 liquid and gel eyeliners and um, oops I oh my god I missed one this one's in a use up <laughs> that I don't want to mix it up with this one which is also which is like the same color but this one's in a use up so I miscounted I have 19 liquid eyeliners crap um, so huh, put that back over there so last year I had 17 liquid and gel eyeliners and this year I have 19 oh my god I gotta hurry up and get through some of this and I think I have 20 because I'm pretty sure that I have another one oh, I do I have another one in my makeup drawer that I've been working really hard to use up it is one of these Ico ones and all the writing is worn off so I know that when you see my makeup um, basket you've seen that one so I actually have 20 crepes this is insane okay so I had last year I had 40 eye pencils I just counted these up including the ones that are in use it up and I have now 46 so uh, I'm not going to go over every pencil but I think I'm going to pull out some of my high-end pencils and um, they're going to be separated into an area where I'll be more likely to grab it um, and not necessarily just high-end but pencils that I just like in general but anyway this is <laughs> this is what 43 plus these three looks like so I have uh, I went from 40 eye pencils to 46 I'm gonna go over these and I'm just gonna pull out my high-end stuff and I'll show that to you just so this isn't totally boring, but um, you know, you could fast forward through this part if you want to, but I'm gonna show you my high-end pencils. And I've kind of separated them here from like high-end to like just your average everyday pencil. I'm sure there are some in here that are pretty expensive because um, there are some brands in here that I don't know. Like um, I think Lord & Berry might be high-end, I'm not sure, but you know I have osmosis and I have Italia and I think they might be high-end but I'm not positive what I'm gonna do as far as organizing these are all high-end um, and I can tell you there's uh, pure there's uh, tart there's a set of five of the Smashbox um, this one is what brand are you that I put you over here Laura Geller um, this one is Tarantino, then I have um, Cynthia Rowley, I have this one which I'm going to start, oops, I'm going to start using this one in my waterline because it's like a, like a shimmery peach, like rose gold color, so I'm going to try that in my waterline. Mr. Wright from The Bomb, I have a Tarte pencil that's double-ended here, it's an old one, I should really use it up. Another Cynthia Rowley, I think I already talked about her. And um, these are little sizes of the, I think this is Marc Jacobs 
yes, it was a birthday gift from Ulta. Not Ulta, I'm sorry. It was a birthday gift from Sephora. And this I got in a beauty bag, and this is an It um, pencil. So I'm going to, I don't usually like separate my pencils by high end and low end, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the ones that I really like the most and put them, because I have a multi-compartment thing on my vanity, and I'm going to put the ones that I want to make sure I reach for most often in one um, area and the others in the other area. So anyway, not too bad. Um, so back back again to the numbers, the liquid and gel eyeliners went from 17 to 20 and the pencil eyeliners went from 40 to 45. Not too bad.